Hello and welcome back to another video today here again on Forza Horizon 5 to take a look at another brand new vehicle that's been added to the game which is of course this Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. All you have to do to win this car is obtain 20 points in the Autumn Festival playlist which as you can see I've done here it's not too much of a challenge so I do really recommend going and getting it if you haven't already. This is of course the second brand new to Forza car that we've seen this series with all four weeks having something new. Last week we of course took a look at the Rimats Nevera. do go and check out that video if you haven't already. Uh, this week of course is the Cadillac. Then next week we've got the Lexus LC500 which I'll be checking out same time next week. And in spring we've got this car's smaller sibling, the Cadillac CT4V. But yeah, not necessarily cars that I'm personally into, but it is great to see that they're finally adding new content every week as they probably should be in the playlist. So I didn't actually know this before but as you might expect it being called the Blackwing means it's the super high performance one. Whereas the normal CT5V if you can call it that because that's already a performance variant. Whilst that car has a six cylinder engine this Blackwing model is fitted with a 6.2 litre supercharged V8 because of course it is. But I mean you can probably already tell that just listen to the noise this thing makes. Which is why we're on the bonnet cam, of course. It's ridiculously loud. It is also audible from chase cam, which is pretty incredible. Anyway, this huge engine gives the car 668 horsepower, but it does unfortunately mean it weighs a humongous 1,870 kilos. And it's just as heavy on your wallet. For some reason it costs as near as makes no difference, $100,000. But then, technically this is supposed to be, I think, I believe, an M5 kind of rival. Although, as cool as this thing is, I'm not sure I would ever choose a Cadillac over the European options, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, it is $100,000, which is just insane for essentially a big four-door muscle car. Although I know this is a bit more than that. As standard, it comes in black, which with the black wheels does make it rather menacing. But what if you're not from the Rolling Stones and you don't want to paint it black? Um, well, then there are some pretty cool options. For example, my personal favourite is this really, really cool bright orange. There's also a very nice blue, a red, um, that's actually quite nice, metallic red, uh, a white, and of course a metallic blue. But yeah, I'm going to go and paint it in this orange because I think that looks incredible. In terms of upgrades and customization, there's nothing that interesting really. You've got your usual Forza Aero at the front, Forza Aero at the rear, and you can also remove the Black Wing's Black Wing um, if you want to make it slightly faster in a straight line and remove some carbon fibre. But I'm of course going to leave that on. Other than that, there's of course some engine swaps, a V10, a V12, and another V8 although I'm not sure why you'd want to swap them, an all-wheel drive drivetrain and the option for twin turbos, which we might throw on in a minute just to test it with anti-lag, but I wouldn't necessarily want to leave it like that. I think it's cool with the supercharged V8. Of course, there's all your usual tyre compounds, tyre widths, track widths, um, and everything else you would expect in the Forza upgrade shop, but nothing particularly unique or special for this car. Like I say though, if you equip some twin turbos and then fit these ones, you can of course get anti-lag on it. But then you lose that... You've got turbo noise, but you lose that really cool supercharger whine we had before. As anti-lag is still quite a new feature, I feel like we need to use it a little bit. The flames are quite ridiculous once we're outside. It does help that it's night time so we can sort of see that but let's try some launch control as well. It's such a simple feature but yeah most of the Forza community cannot get over it. It is kind of cool though. Entirely pointless but cool. It just doesn't sound right though this with listen to the turbos. Yeah, that's not right. I am going to have to put the supercharger back on because this just doesn't sound right. However incredible those flames and things are. So usually at this point I would either upgrade Sorry. the car 
or download a tune. But as it starts at 799 PI, we actually took it into some A-Class Horizon Open earlier. I did bring out the track width on mine for that one extra point, um, and also just for the looks, but some of the other guys left them completely stock. It actually felt pretty good, although a little heavy. Okay, very heavy. Um, but given that weight, it did well, handle quite well, to be fair to it. I didn't do very well myself, but I think that was mostly right. down to my driving. It was still a lot of fun, and I probably ah, will use it again online. That. You could potentially try and build it to S1, I suppose, but I don't think it's going to be very good. And I do not like S1 um, class racing, A class about as fast as I like to drive on here. So bit. I'm not going to be doing that, but that is potentially something you could do. Um, but I don't necessarily think it will be very good. That, though, is going to probably do it for a very first look at the Cadillac CT5V Blackwing here on Forza Horizon 5. Going into this, I wasn't terribly excited about this car, if I'm honest, although it is good to see another car that's new to Forza added to the game. Um, but after driving it, I am pleasantly surprised, actually. It handles better than I thought, has lots of lovely power, as you might expect, um, and an amazing supercharger whine. And yeah, also not too bad in online racing and a lot of fun to drive in that. So I will be using it again. So it's also nice to have a car that I feel like I will actually use going forwards. But yeah, it's been a good series so far with the Rimats and this. And I look forward to testing out the Lexus LC500 next week and the slightly smaller version of this car, the CT4 um, v Blackwing in a couple of weeks time. So watch out for videos on those coming very soon. And after driving this, I do very much look forward to driving the other one. But yeah, great to see new cars in all four weeks of the festival playlist this time. So let's hope that continues going forwards. For now, though, for a very first look at this car, that is going to be all. Do let me know what you think of it. Um, but for now, for today's video, that is going to be all. So thank you very much for watching. And I will be back with the next video very soon. Mm -hmm.